Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. Hey, welcome back to Real Agriculture. My name is Chase Chambers and I'm here with Tom Wolf. and today we're going to be talking about spray your clean out. Um, so the first thing is, can we just talk about some of the tests you guys ran here? Yeah, we did a little demo where we wanted to show the uh, effectiveness of different clean out strategies. We ran some Odyssey through a boom and then uh, followed it up with Liberty right away. Obviously saw some serious Odyssey Group 2 damage on the canola, it was Liberty Link canola. And then we did a little bit of a water clean out and that was uh, pretty effective actually. Uh, and But the um, water plus ammonia did improve on it slightly. The second thing though that we did was we used glyphosate and AIM. And with glyphosate and AIM, when we did not do a clean out, it was a pretty serious problem. And even a water clean out wasn't that great. So the AIM component really stuck around the plastic parts of the boom plumbing. And we had to use a, a proper water and ammonia rinse to get it uh, perfectly clean. So I guess it depends a little bit on on how sticky and how oily the formulation is. Uh, depend That sort of determines the amount of cleaning you have to do. Okay, so yeah, we talked a lot about spray your hygiene. What was kind of the main takeaways with that? Well, the most important thing is to to start with proper mixing. You know, many of the problems that are uh, issues in tank clean out or, or boom clean out are the group twos. And we also saw the AIM and they may, may, might be, uh, you know, oily, oily products. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is, is mix them properly so that they're fully in, they're fully hydrated and then they don't get lodged in some of the plumbing bits that, that can hold on to them. The second thing to do is after clean, after finishing spraying is to clean out immediately. Don't give it a chance to stay in the, in the boom plumbing or the tank any longer than necessary. And particularly the boom. I mean, the tanks are stainless steel now, but the booms are still rubber and plastic. And so we, we do have problems with some uh, products sticking to those types of components. So get rid of it. You know, do an air purge, do a water rinse, do something, but do not store that chemical mixture in the boom. If you do store something in the boom, store a cleaner in the boom and give it a, give it a moment to, to do its job. Right, and some of what, what are some of the really common issues? You just talked about leaving it too long, but are there any other common issues with tank cleanout? Yeah, I think the, the problems are often that we don't know when we're done cleaning, so we're a little bit precautionary. It takes a lot of time. And so, you know, we can do, you know, a triple, triple rinse kind of cleanup that might take, you know, it might take half an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how, how well you do it. So we've really been promoting the continuous rinse system, which is where you would install a second pump on your sprayer. It would be dedicated to the clean water tank. And now you can clean your tank while you're spraying the rinse it out onto the crop right away. So it saves a lot of time. It pushes the, the clean water to the boom almost right away. You don't have to leave the cab. It's a very efficient system and people that have installed those systems are, are pretty happy with the time they're saving. Okay. And other times that a cleaning agent is required or a good idea? Yeah, so most labels call for something other than plain water. Most labels ask for ammonia. And ammonia is a great cleaner to use. Uh, that was demonstrated here in this demo. Ammonia was, was better than water. And um, the, the issue is, do you have an emulsifiable concentrate in your tank? So an EC is an oily solution, an oily formulation. And you can tell it that it's an EC if the tank is milky white. Okay. If it's milky white, then you should use maybe a surfactant in addition to your ammonia. So that could be a non-ionic surfactant, but it could also be a commercial cleaner, like uh, All Clear or some other products like that, that contain surfactants in their formulation. Those are important because they're even better at removing the grease, the oily layer that can protect chemicals from coming out of so the, off the tank walls or off the, the plumbing walls. Okay. And what were you uh, showing during your presentation with this? Yeah, so this is a little kit. So this I picked this up at Wilger Industries. And so what they've done in Saskatoon is they've made components of sprayers that help you 
convert your boom to a recirculating boom. The recirculating boom is really cool because it keeps the product flowing. There are no dead ends anymore. So uh, even if you're not spraying, it could still be pumping through the boom and going back to the tank. A recirculating boom makes it really easy to air purge the boom out. You don't waste product because you can push the air purge back into the tank. You could even water uh, rinse it and push the water back to the tank so you don't have any waste. It makes it a lot easier to prevent uh, pesticide from just staying in the, in the boom components too long. Uh, very great innovation. What Wilger has done, if you haven't got an, a recirculating boom on your sprayer, you can go to places like Nozzle Ninja in, in Stetler, they'll sell you a kit for your sprayer, or you could try building one yourself with these components. It's not that hard. Awesome. And is there anything else that you want people to know? Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's funny. I think that the responsibility for cleanup remains with the, with the operator. So being thorough, I think, is very important. But I'm really happy to see that the manufacturers like John Deere here have come out with their own factory installed uh, uh, recirculating booms. Uh, other sprayer manufacturers like Horsch and Agrifac also have them from the factory. And uh, you've got uh, Road Gators got them from the factory. So that is a, a really cool innovation that's helping farmers clean their sprayers better. Nice. And do you think that's kind of the future for sprayers? I think so. I think, you know, I want to remove the responsibility from, from the farmer a little bit. I want to make it easier for the farmers to do the right thing, like clean their sprayers properly. And I think uh, a part of that is, the, is the, the machinery has to be easy to clean. Right. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Chase.